load uh, okay yeah so uh this uh top left <laughs> was something yeah i got completely lost i um i didn't know the, <laughs> the reaction and uh yeah the um question was not was it it was uh the um uh b b14 i think that uh, that threw me off that really really threw me off oh uh what threw you off b4 oh uh, yeah okay b14 yeah. yeah. B14. Yeah. And um, yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, the 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 classic show or what? Let the classic, but the modern Shoseki I know here is that after this move, you okay. also play this as white. Mm -hmm. And the 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 thing, of course, with this is that it kind of prevents this cut here. Because usually, if white didn't have four, black could now just cut here, and yeah, right. uh, or yeah, could cut here and can't be cut off. But with the stone here, mm -hmm. this stone already helps with the shape, where it's an angle point to these two black stones, mm -hmm. and uh, and it prevents this jump out at d13 at least uh, without yeah. being cut yeah. <laughs> for black. So that's yeah. the reason why this is uh, the shape move, uh, and I thought it should be okay here too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, I know that also this is a thing, but then Black plays something like this, and I don't know these variations, so I just play what the shapes I know. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I mean, of course, if you want this, if you want this pain, then if uh, e sixteen is totally okay. But in general, if you're not too familiar with these variations, I I would advise against it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would probably yeah, I just, just play the two space jump or even just Tenuki. Mm. Or yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, it was maybe a little bit over on overconfident uh, my ability to to handle the shape even if I don't know the variations. Um, yeah. Yeah. So mm, maybe I've told you before, but when w someone plays this pincer against me, I don't even play the press. <laughs> Okay, okay. Because like... yeah, because I I uh, if if I play this and get cut here, then uh, I don't know these variations at all. For example, <laughs> because I was I always extend to the other side. So now I would already be com super uncomfortable, and the opponent has the big advantage if they know the Chaseki. So I even prevent, I even avoid this, even though I I play the pincer Chaseki myself all the time, but. Yeah, it just can de escalate yeah. so quickly, and <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. and and here, I mean, I, I actually I completely forgot. I knew there was some mistake by you, but actually the shape here is this one. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. And yeah. and the reason for that is that you want to protect the cut in, uh, directly, so white doesn't have this cutting option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, and the right, reason why you right. choose this way to connect is because this one still again leaves this kind of uh, forcing move here for white, mm -hmm. which is just yeah, not yeah. great for you. And if yeah, you yeah. Ag ignore them, obviously, then 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 white just plays this, and and you are in trouble with these stones. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I have horrible shape anyway. So, so that that connection is not good. This one is obviously just a clown connection so the only really good move that is left is this stupid looking move but at least it doesn't leave any big forcing moves from the outside right now and it also yeah, yeah <laughs> doesn't give white corner and, and out because right now here this reason uh, th this this is a little bit hard for black because this white group in the corner always has two outs yeah. Which is also why when you played this, I could just say, well, my corner has still two ways to live, or at least to fight. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. And then this is good, yeah. Uh, but you have to immediately play, uh, you have to immediately play this one. Yeah. Um, if now white protects the outside cut, well, then this is much better than the game, of course. Yeah, for sure. And if... Uh, if white ignores that, then you can cut here and we get into this kind of uh, 
in the, into this kind of battle where you get to peep on the outside and might just uh, sacrifice the left side group in order to get some outside influence or something like that. I'm not yeah. exactly sure how exactly you do that, but that's the general that that's the general plan. Mm -hmm. And plus, I think if White is too careless with these this outside here. At some point, then you have still have this clamp as black, I think. So then, the corner is not even uh, clear yet. It might be a seki or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, but by giving me all this, I think at least here you probably still had to play this one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the cut is annoying, which is also why at this pa at this this point, what you can do is you can play this one instead. Okay. And now you threaten g18, so white plays here, and now you can come back and you don't leave a cutting point for yourself. Yeah, yeah. And, and later you can still cut at, you now you can still cut at d12 or uh, attach at h18. So yeah. if white plays this, you can, I mean, you can push here maybe, and you can still, maybe even cut here right now, or maybe jump out and le let white worry about this cut at all times. So this is still an okay result. Yeah. So we had to make use of this outside weakness uh, twice, twice either either by playing this c14 right now, or here was the chance to not Atari but to extend. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. T the t the typical thing about h17 here is you you see that black weakness you want to use it right away but the better way is to to leave it and let it be a, an opponent's worry yeah K kind of tying tying in into what we uh we would we last discussed <laughs> in this session yeah, where, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but this is a bit more uh, of a well uh more detail i guess <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. more uh, more roundabout. Mm. And and the reason also here is that in this case later, for example, if you play this and you get a you can get a move like this in center, because you always threaten to still pull this one out and then white is not alive locally. Oh, nice, yeah. But if you force if you force all this immediately, now white is pretty much alive. <laughs> right. Um. Because I mean, you you can't really uh, play this one <laughs> right now. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I could just cut here, and after, even after this, now after I got this one, uh, actually, I read I could even just kill you here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I could just Atari here and connect here, and then I didn't see anything you can do here. Yeah, right. Like I play yeah. here, you play here, but I can even just play here, and you just completely dead even after this exchange there's just nothing you can do here okay yes yeah yeah it's just uh, then yeah so i mean the, the shape just because at first you you didn't use the uh this cut basically and then you didn't make use of f17 you basically gave me all the resources surrounding your corner group and then now your corner group is well, in, in grave danger, if not just straight up dead. <laughs> yeah. I do wonder, though, at this point, maybe, even though it looks really painful, maybe you had to play here. <laughs> and if now I ignore, then you can cut and cut, and maybe you can fight somehow. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Mm. Doesn't look fun. <laughs> Yeah, very daring. Yeah. But okay, so I, I still thought... So what did you think about this result here? Oh, I was, uh, I was so unhappy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I felt already behind and, and you know, mm -hmm. the problem. Yeah, so, so I mean, I both both players... Like Sorry? In fact, uh, I already felt behind with something like 10 points or more. Because hmm. um, you got this, uh, the uh, the turtle attached with a um, uh, tail attached on the outside, um, and you got center. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, your, uh, I, I felt that your influence is just so much better than than mine. Even though, uh, even though my uh, top stones, the H, uh, H16, uh, uh, got a very strong shape. I felt, yeah, I just felt behind at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so I will also explain that during the stream. Uh, and you, you could think of, okay, both got basically no points in the corner, and then it's outside versus outside. You lost center, mm -hmm. but also it was my corner, so we have the situation that it should be an equal result. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I have four stones facing this direction, and you have three. I have three stones on the fifth line, and you have three stones on the fourth line. And most importantly, I already have one eye, maybe even a half an eye here or here, and you have no eyes yeah. yet for your group. So that's the main difference in my opinion. If this is uh, not an eye for white, then it's probably still rather equal, but because my group is so strong and yours could still be attacked anytime. Yeah. Because while it has strong yeah. shape, because it doesn't have any weakness, it also doesn't have any eye space yet. <laughs> that's the big yeah. difference here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, your your top uh, your, your left group um, just it's like the embodiment of uh, of thickness. Yeah. So eyes and uh, eyes and uh, eyes and liberties. It's uh, yeah. Mine is yeah, a wall that uh, has eyes, and yours is a wall that only has ears or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think uh, what, um, the the saying is that uh, the shape that you've got there is worth uh, sixty points. Mm -hmm. Like double double penalty. The turtle shape. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, then here, I was debating if I want to play here because, I mean, I just want to reduce you, but I decided to play a bit more fighty variation just because it's maybe more testing. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, was, uh, I wondered about the, the direction at, uh, on, on the bottom mm. and um, the, the follow up, the follow -up uh, at R10. Um, uh, something uh, that just just fine or yeah, I think this one is uh, probably the best way to continue here. You you grow your own. You pressure put pressure on my stones. This can't be a bad move. Okay. Uh, I would play that too in this position at least. All right. All right. So it's at, at at least four to five time level. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And I think the top right actually you played pretty well. For the most part, um, I was wondering about this one though in this position, uh, simply because now it's not well. R10 is just a nuisance, and the usual move that White would play in this Chosiki is this one. Mm -hmm. uh, but here White can't really do that. So what does White do now? Maybe White plays here now or something, and then you can jump here, and then it's a running fight with I have a weak group and you have. One regroup in between, and you are strong, pretty much on the top side now. Like mm -hmm. I can still invade and attack H eighteen, but I mean you have J nineteen in center anytime. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe that was also an option. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, this this option is maybe the one that gives you a bit more comeback uh, potential. Yeah, um, yeah. Because here you keep some, I don't want to say control, but you keep some uh, initiative in this uh, this position. While in this case, I just felt, well, if I get all the outside and you take the, I don't know, what, 35 points on the top side or something like that, and then I'm already happy. Yeah. <laughs> Which is also probably why you hunt it here and then after I played here, you decided to play here. Actually, I'm do I'm not yeah, sure. Exactly. Is is that is that the normal way, or does does White not uh, play? No. Ah, hmm. Do you by any chance yeah. know if R eighteen is too early? <laughs> um, no, I think uh, R eighteen is. Um, is uh, I think it's just fine now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I never played these variations myself. Pretty pretty much never. Maybe in like one in two hundred games or something like that. I wonder if uh, S fifteen was too early. Yeah, mm, might be. I just thought, well, this uh, that this uh, hurts your outside stone, but then you have this nice tissue tree here, so 
Uh, also, Chad told me that Q13 and R13 both were uh, the, the blue spot. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Chat. Though I would, yeah, R14 is just, it's so painful to play, but it's even more painful to give you this. So, uh, yeah, and yeah, and yeah. this at least still was sent against your corner. Like at this point, I was already debating to play here now. Yeah. Uh, because I can. <laughs> But I really didn't like that you can cut in center here now, and you can also get this move in center. Um, mm -hmm. So then, if I have to, if if we have to play this way, and you also have this in center, so I can't Atari and type my stones, then my three outside stones are just captured already. Yeah. Uh, even if I get P thirteen, I can't. Yeah, you're just too strong, and I felt like okay, I get your corner, but I mean. You are, the outside now is kind of trash, and my stones, my especially now you got your target. Like when you're ahead, you never want yeah. to give the opponent a target, and so I felt like, yes, I can capture the corner, but it's more important to keep A weak so B is stronger, and mm -hmm. C is still a thing, and you still had to return to D uh, theoretically. Yeah. 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 But yeah, at this point it's... here. Yeah, yeah, I just had to play um, as, uh, as 18. Yeah, in my opinion, you had two choices now. Play this and give white the decision if white wants to take this move, which is quite big because now this, call, this uh, my group, my A group is pretty much connected. Or A and B are more or less connected. Yes, you can cut kind of with C, but there's a big weakness C, or I can just counter attack. Mm -hmm. And uh, or or the alternative is that you now say, well, okay, now uh, I just make make this shape strong here, and then you can attack these two stone, these uh, three stones here. Yeah, yeah, I want uh, I want too much there. Yeah, I should have, uh, I should have made an, uh, a decision and then then I went, went through with it. Yeah. So so basically, indecision or wanting it all, whatever you want to call it, uh, um, killed yeah. killed this game for you because yeah, I mean, ah, oh, this one, <laughs> it's it's so damaging. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I yeah. I I also considered T fourteen and thought it was a nice Tetsuchi, and then you played it. So Chad was just uh, amazed by your by your tactical skills this game. Uh. Um, but then he, here, the best you could have done is a, a co here. Mm. Yeah. And actually, it's not. Uh, it's not even a co actually. Actually, it's not even a co because I can just play here, and then play here. Oh, is it? Ah, oh, wait, no, we can play. Okay, it's still a co. Huh? Yeah. Maybe I can play here and here. Mm, no, it's it's yeah, it's it's a co, but of course it's a quite desperate co because. You have to win it so many yeah. times. I can't capture, and then you yeah, still yeah. have four liberties on the other side. So yeah, but yeah, yeah, maybe maybe in this case you ha yeah just Tinoki. <laughs> this move doesn't give you anything. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you misread here, but uh, yeah, at this point my group is not only super strong. I took away your corner. There still is this cut at one, and most importantly, yeah. because now oh why do am I love using this? Because now your A group is not strong. You have no le no more leverage to attack B. Like you like you could in the game you could harass B, but you could only do so. The, your only profit was to protect your weak group, which didn't have to be weak. Yeah, yeah. And if that's the only le leverage, then that doesn't make up for the fact that you just lose like thirty points in the top right. Yeah. Um, right. So also here probably I was. I was maybe a bit greedy, I should have just played here, and then if you cut here, and I can just I get this all center, uh, oops, that's way, and then I just, I don't know, do do, do something on the outside like this, maybe. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've, I thought I could just live locally here, or you couldn't make too much happen here, and yeah, then this was just a bit too too weak of a shape for you. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But yeah. Hmm. 
Mm. <laughs> theme of the game, I don't know. Uh, it it mm. very very much had to do with the uh, with reading. Uh, yeah. yeah. Reading, but uh, also just knowing when to back off. Uh, at, for example, ah, oh, actually, I want to talk. Yeah, this move might just be too damaging for your own good. I'm not sure about this one because you make your stones on the outside so much heavier. Uh, I might have. Hmm, maybe it's okay. Maybe also you just want to play. Just just here now, and if white defends, then you get this get center, and you can do something on the outside. <laughs> maybe this one is okay, but yeah. maybe this is okay. Mm. But yeah, nah, because of this one, I, uh, this one being center is quite quite uh, quite annoying. So probably this is fine. Yeah. Uh okay. But uh, I mean. It's, it just feels wrong, but it st still somehow seems like a good comeback mechanic to make something happen on the outside here. Uh, but if yeah. if if it's if it's an equal position, well, it's probably still equal enough. Then maybe just leaving the archie for later. S eighteen is just such a big move in any way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Chat also Q twelve. Oh, that was the move. Okay, yeah, Q Q twelve. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. Any questions <laughs> left? Um. No. Uh, no. Okay. I don't think so. Uh, um, I think I will continue to uh, to play the the top left Josecki. But I. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will. Uh, t uh, to uh, be more attentive to uh, to to the shape for uh, just generally, and um, I really liked uh, the, how you pointed out um, that I uh, had to connect uh, to connect there on, on the left um, earlier at uh, C uh, C fourteen. Mm. That was a really good point, and then. Um, yeah, a little later, um, the uh, uh, the move you su suggested at H uh, H uh, sixteen, yeah, that just fits perfectly in the in in uh, in uh, our last um, in the theme of uh, our last uh, teaching game. Just being uh, just being patient for for the check. Mm. Don't uh, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> I I coined it a, I coined it a typical low down mistake because I had uh, years ago I played some games with Frozen and he pointed out when I was like a one down two down ish and he pointed out yeah. I I I tend to use these weaknesses way too early. I think that the example actually I yeah. still remember it was uh it was something like uh. Something like this shape, this kind of shape, where now, uh, at this point, I cut immediately and white got to play here, and my corner was a lot weaker now. Something like oh, that. This shape happens so often in my in my own games. Yeah, and then that that here you, you do push out here to ex to see if white jumps or if white uh, extends, and then you actually slide first, and then you yeah. can make use of this weakness because before white can just. Well, wait, white can just ignore the cut because white is strong on the top side and white can make the corner suffer with this move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So that was the typical example of, well, there is a weakness, so I should use it. But uh, yeah, no, you have to prepare it first and make sure your own weaknesses don't come back uh, to haunt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that what, what happened there in our game, that's just so typical of my games that this is, um, I, I try to... Um, to get past it, but it's still it, uh, it, it pops up regularly. Yeah, I think it uh, takes some time to get it out of the system. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and and that's also why you need uh, 
uh, well, um, um, deliberate practice because there's a lot of habits we have, we all have that are not good. But uh, and the only way to uh, to change them is to really be attentive to one single thing at a time. Yeah. So if you notice yourself using weaknesses too early, then that's sort of like every time you have this urge to make use of a weakness, you you, you yeah. want to wonder. But what about my own weaknesses? And also what, yeah, mainly the threat, that part. And if you do have that down, then you can also think about, and what am I actually gaining from that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I mean, uh, you, you, you yeah. saw some of my, my, my uh, Dave Base entries. Like, it's, I, I'm attentive to what I want to change and I still have this. Well, I want to play a corn game. Let's cut! <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it just comes over you, especially if you're maybe a bit sleep deprived or not focused enough, or you're just some something distract anything that distracts you. It's so easy to fall back into what you know, on quotes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or um, like here, yeah, um, when when you when you feel that um, that the work, that the position doesn't work out as uh, as you would have liked. And it's uh, then it's even more probable that you would fall back to your, to your well, it's more even more probable for me that I fall back into my uh, my old habits. Mm, yeah, because you see that hmm, this is clearly not working, so I should just play what worked before for me, <laughs> yeah, or that I at exactly. least feel comfortable with. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. But of yeah. course, that's not how you grow in the end. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean that thinking i want i want to say of course falling back to uh to habits is not something that you can i mean it, it happens just <laughs> if it doesn't happen then uh it's probably not a too hard habit of yours to uh, overcome yeah yeah I agree. right all right well if there's no more questions left then uh uh, thank you for the game. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, that was uh, always uh, always a pleasure to uh, to play these uh, teaching games with you. That's very that's insightful. Thank you. Good to hear. Well, uh, take care and have a good have a good weekend. Yeah, you too. Bye bye. Bye.